Hey everyone, as you have probably noticed, um, I did go ahead and do my foundation as well as my eyes and eyebrows, of course. Um, we will be doing more of a night look tonight, so I did do more of a smoky eye, um, but today we will be focusing on highlighting, contouring, and maybe just a little bit of baking in there. So just before we get started, I just want to let you know that um, everybody's face shape is different and everybody's going to have a different preference when it comes to highlighting and contouring. Uh, this is just my personal opinion on what I like on myself. Um, and I will be using all uh, drugstore brand makeup, which is super exciting. So it's all pretty accessible, affordable. Um, and yeah. I can't wait to show you. So what we're gonna do is um, go right in with our highlighting and contour. Um, as you know, I've already done my foundation. I recommend that you do do a really light layer of foundation first. Um, and just try to choose a shade that is closest to your natural skin tone. So the first product that I'm gonna be using is by uh, NYX, and it is called Sculpt and Highlight Face Duo. This is like the holy grail. This is amazing. Um, if you're new to highlighting and contouring, this just makes life so easy. You don't have to pick a light color. You don't have to pick a dark color. You pick one stick, you're good to go. Let's get started. So with highlighting, pretty much a highlight is gonna go anywhere on the face that you really want to brighten or bring forward. So when somebody looks at you, the first thing that they're gonna see is whatever is highlighted. Um, and so, love this. It's a little doe foot. Super easy applicator. You don't have to buy like a separate brush for this. It's all ready to go. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start with applying it straight under the eyes. And I am just extending it a little bit past my brow and on top of the cheekbone there. And then what I'm also going to do is bring it down and back up. So ultimately what we've done is created a triangle. With highlighting and contouring with creams, you can really just have fun with it. Nothing has to be perfect. It's all going to get blended away anyway. As long as you have the general shape of what you want, then doodle. Go ahead. Doodle all over. Um, so I've done under my eyes. I am also going to do a little bit just above the brows, but focused on the forehead. A little highlight there. A little bit down the center of the nose. I like to keep mine a little bit lower for the highlight. A little bit on the top of the lip. Oh, I have wings under my eyes, I have a heart on my forehead. Um, feeling pretty good, to be honest. Feeling pretty good. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is take our contour color. So this one here is the taupe. And you can have fun with this one as well. I like to do a little bit around my hairline on the forehead. Down the jawline. I'm also going to do a little bit down the sides of the nose. Just a little bit. Next part here is probably the most common place for people to want to contour, and that's right in the cheekbone here. So to really define the cheeks and really make them stand out. So how to measure where to do that? Here we go, top of the ear, and down. See that? Not going any further than the eye. So just keeping it in that area there. I'm actually going to go back in and I'm going to take my highlight again, super handy that it's right here, um, and I'm going to do a little bit on my chin. And that's it. You are done. Have fun tonight. See ya! <laughs> okay, just kidding. So next thing that we're going to do is you're actually going to make a new best friend, which I hope you do if you're going out tonight. But before you even leave the house, you're going to make a new best friend. So this little guy here, this is a little sponge. Um, this is going to be your best friend. Honestly, I find that the way that the sponge works into the skin, it helps for the foundation, concealer, any liquid that you're putting on the skin to really absorb and look really natural 
Also, if you have too much product on the skin, the sponge will help to absorb a little bit as well, and so that way it doesn't look uh, too heavy or cakey. This is the e.l.f. Uh, Makeup Mist and Set. So I actually do a little bit on my face, and then I actually go right in and really dampen the sponge with it as well. So once your sponge is nice and damp, we are going to go right in and blend. So this part here is really important um, just because you don't want to see any harsh lines with your highlight and contour and you really want to keep the placement of where you've put your highlight and contour as well. So just use up and down patting motions like this and try not to drag it around too much because once you start dragging it, it's going to move around and your highlight is going to be all over your contour. Um, I typically like to do the highlights first and then the, the darker colors after, but there really is no rules to it, just whatever works for you. All right, and that is pretty much it. So typically, um, if I weren't gonna bake my makeup, which is what I'm gonna show you next, I would actually just set my makeup with a little bit of powder, um, a little bit all over, just to make sure that it really stays. All right, so this next step that we're gonna do is called baking. Um, and basically, it's quite simple actually. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to wet our sponge, our best sponge friend, and this is going to sound a little bit crazy, but we're actually going to take a little bit of translucent powder. Um, I am using the NYX Lavender Color Correcting Powder. This one here is a slight purple. Um, I didn't actually have any drugstore translucent powders with me, so I have this one here. Um, the purple just helps to kind of brighten the complexion, so it's totally fine. It'll work great, um, but any translucent, white, loose powder will work best for this. So we have our damp sponge, our best friend, and we are going to submerge it into powder. I mean submerge it, like you can pack this baby on much powder as you like probably the more the better and what we're going to do is we are going to dust it or shall I say pack it underneath the eyes and anywhere else that you have done a highlight I'm going to do a little bit underneath the contour here just because we don't want that to move around so this kind of just locks it in. Alright, we're ready to go. Thanks for watching. Again, have a great night tonight. So pretty much what's going on here is your body's heat is rising and getting trapped in between your body and the powder. So we are literally baking our makeup onto our face right now. Um, typically I'd only recommend this um, for special occasions or when you're going out because the skin can't breathe at all. Um, and so yeah, so I would just do this when you want to bulletproof your makeup because this is bulletproofing your makeup. Your makeup will not move after this. And so this technique actually came from the drag queens when they would be performing on stage, dancing, singing, having a great time under the hot lights. It's hot, it's sweaty, you're exercising, you're dancing, you're, you're just having so much fun that um, you need to have makeup 
that is going to last. And so they came up with this technique to make sure that it was going to stay on um, throughout their night. And so thank you to the drag queens because this is a great technique that I think everybody could use on a night out. So um, typically with baking your makeup, you can bake it for about five minutes, um, up to about 30 minutes. So at this time, you can do whatever you like, hang out. What shall we do? You're so nice. You won't even look at me. You won't even look at me. Simon, why don't you? Hey. <laughs> Okay, so time has passed. We are ready to go. Um, for this step here, I'd recommend just taking a fluffy brush. This one here is by Quo as well. And we are just going to dust off our bakage. I'm going in with a little bit of bronzer over the areas that we um, contoured and this will just help to set the contour and again just warms up the face a little bit and really helps to define it. If you're wearing blush tonight, um, what you're going to want to do is just get a big smile on your face and the blush can go right on the ball of the cheek and just lightly blend it out. So I just used um, this e.l.f. palette here. It's a duo. It has a bronze color as well as a blush color. I think it's the only duo that I've ever really seen. But this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite products. I've already bought probably like three or four of them. Like this is a great one. All right, um, the last thing that we can do, this is totally up to you. Um, I do find that after baking your face that your makeup becomes quite matte. There's no shine, there's no glow, it, you are matte. Um, and so I'm gonna take this NYX palette, it's an eyeshadow palette, like this, and our Quo brush, and I'm just gonna pick up the lightest shade here, a little bit on my brush. And I'm just going to pop that in a couple places where I would like to add a little bit of a glow. We've taken out all of the shine, but I do want to be glowing under the lights tonight. So I'm just going to pop a little bit right on top of the cheekbone. Do a little bit on the cupid's bow little bit on the end of the nose, tiny little bit on the forehead, and we are good to go. So this is the finished look. I have done a little bit of shadow and mascara underneath the eyes, but we are actually for real this time ready to go out and not have to worry about our makeup. You look at me. Tico, you're so pretty, Tico.